Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So is MBA in Human Resource Management is the decent option? Is MBA in Human Resource Management worth it in 2024? And if yes, then what are the top colleges and top companies to consider for this specialization? These are the things we are going to discuss with this video. So basically, when you enter a company, enter karte ho, so the very first thing you are going to do is the interaction with the HR team. Or HR team decide karti hai that you are perfect for that job role or not. And if you get shortlisted, then what will be your job role? What will be your salary? So those all responsibilities are of the HR team. So basically, HR plays the very important role in any organization. Now the question is, why to choose this specialization? So basically, with this specialization, you can enhance your managerial skills, your leadership skills. With the help of this specialization, you have lots of opportunities in the market and you can learn the recent market trends and business trends. Now, what are the qualities required for this specialization? So communication skills, leadership skills, planning skills, supervising skills, negotiation skills. So if you have all of these qualities, you can consider this specialization. Now coming to the list of top colleges you can consider for MBA in HR management. So coming to the very first college is Accelerate Jamshedpur. So this college accepts the score of the ZAT entrance examination for the admission process. It is one of the topmost business schools in India. So this college provides you the PGDM in BM program, PGDM in GM program and PGDM in HR program. So if we consider the overall average salary package offered with this college, it is nearly up to 29.89 lakhs per annum. The fees for the two years of course is nearly up to 25.8 lakhs. And the highest salary package offered with this college is nearly up to 75 lakhs per annum. If we consider the overall batch size for the accelerator, then it is of 420 candidates. Then coming to the next college is TIS, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai. So this is the another good business school you can consider for the HR management. In ki pehle separate entrance examination hoti thi, which is TISnet. But as of now it is discontinued and it accepts the score of the CVT PG entrance examination for the admission process. If you specifically want to complete your MBA in the list phase, but with a good return on investment, then this is also one of the good options you can consider for. If we consider the fee structure for the two years of program with this college, it is nearly up to 2 lakhs. Then the average placement salary offered with this college, it was nearly up to 27.22 lakhs per annum. And the highest placement salary offered was 49 lakhs per annum. If we consider the overall batch size for this college, it is of 68 candidates. Then coming to the next college is NMIMS, Narsimunji Institute of Management Studies, Mumbai. So this college accepts the score of the NMAT entrance examination for the admission process. And if we consider the overall fee structure for this college, it is nearly up to 24 lakhs for the two years of program. The average salary package offered with this college, it is nearly up to 26.63 lakhs per annum. The highest salary package offered was 67.80 lakhs per annum. And if we consider the overall batch size for the NMIMS Mumbai, it is of 600 candidates. Then coming to the next college is Indian Institute of Management Indore. So this college is the another good business school which you can target for the MBA in HR management. So it is the sixth prestigious IM in the India. And if we consider the overall fee structure for this college for the two years of program, it is nearly up to 25 lakhs. Then according to the placement report, the average placement salary offered with this college was nearly up to 25.01 lakhs per annum and the highest placement salary offered was 1 crore per annum. If we consider the overall batch size for this college, it is of 578 candidates. Then coming to the next college is SCMHRD, Symbiosis Center for Management and Human Resource Development. So this college was established in the year 1993 and it accepts the score of the SAP entrance examination for the admission process. So basically this college is famous for the HR management. If we consider the overall fee structure for the two years of program with this college, it is nearly up to 23.90 lakhs. Then according to the placement report, the average placement salary offered with this college was nearly up to 23.71 lakhs per annum. The highest placement salary offered was 35.02 lakhs per annum. And if we consider the overall batch size for this college, it is of 160 candidates. Then coming to the next college is Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow. So this college was established in the year 1984. It accepts the score of the CAT entrance examination for the admission process. And it is the fourth prestigious institution in the India. So if we consider the overall fee structure for the two years of program with the IIM Lucknow, it is nearly up to 20.7 lakhs. 
According to the placement report, the average placement salary offered with this college was nearly up to 32.20 lakhs per annum. The highest placement salary offered was 1.23 crore per annum. And if we consider the overall batch size, it is of 571 candidates. Then coming to the next college is SIBM, Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, Pune. So this college was established in the year 1978. It accepts the score of the SNAP entrance examination for the admission process. So it is also one of the good business school you can consider for the MBA in HR program. If we consider the overall fee structure with this college for the two years of program, it is nearly up to 22.20 lakhs. Then according to the placement report, the average placement salary offered with this college was nearly up to 28.16 lakhs per annum. The highest placement salary offered was 49.06 lakhs per annum. And if we consider the overall batch size of the SIBM Pune, it is of 180 candidates. Then coming to the next college is Indian Institute of Management Ranchi. So this college was established in the year 2009. It accepts the score of the CAT entrance examination for the admission process. It is also one of the good business school you can consider for MB in HR management. If we consider the overall fee structure for the two years of program with the AM Ranchi, it is nearly up to 17.2 lakhs. Then according to the placement report, the average placement salary offered with this college was nearly up to 17.30 lakhs per annum. The highest placement salary offered was 35.50 lakhs per annum. And if we consider the overall batch size of this college, it is of 250 candidates. Then coming to the next college is Indian Institute of Management Trichy, which was established in the year 2011. It also accepts the score of the CAT entrance examination for the admission process. So this is the another good business school you can consider for your MBA in HR management program. If we consider the overall fee structure for the two years of program with this college, it is nearly up to 19.5 lakhs. Then according to the placement report, the average placement salary offered with this college was nearly up to 20.55 lakhs per annum. The highest placement salary offered was 41.61 lakhs per annum. And if we consider the overall batch size, it is of 350 candidates. Then coming to the next college is XIMB, Xavier Institute of Management, Bhuneshwar. So this is also the one of the topmost business school you can consider for MBA in HR program. So if we consider the overall fee structure with the XIMB for the two years of program, it is nearly up to 19.3 lakhs. Then according to the placement report, the average placement salary offered with this college was nearly up to 16.64 lakhs per annum. The highest placement salary offered was 71.51 lakhs per annum. And if we consider the overall batch size, it is of 364 candidates. Then coming to the next college is Zeis Ranchi. So this college was established in the year 1995 and it accepts the score of the CAT, ZAT, GMAT entrance examination for the admission process. So it is also one of the good business school you can consider for MBA in HR management program. If we consider the overall fee structure for the two years of program with the Zeis Ranchi, it is 8.9 lakhs. Then according to the placement report, the average placement salary offered with this college was nearly up to 9.4 lakhs per annum and the highest placement salary offered was 20.50 lakhs per annum. And if we consider the overall batch size of this college, it is of 233 candidates. So these are the MBA colleges you can consider for the Masters of Business Administration in Human Resource Management. If you have any doubts, any queries in this, then you can just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you find the video helpful, then do like the video and subscribe the channel.